Hi guys, Alec Pierce, Tech Tips. Here I am at, at the Aquarius Scuba Diving Center. We call it Aquarius, just Aquarius, in, uh, in Toronto. Uh, now, I don't know if I've done very much on weights. Can you remember, Kevin, have we done very much, a little bit on uh, weights? Well, I don't know if I've ever done much on how weights have changed over the years, because they sure have. Now, this is very similar to the uh, lead weights that, uh, that uh, we used in the 50s and 60s. The very first lead weights that I had, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, I made myself. It was very common back then. Even up into the 70s, we used to make our own lead weights. Lead was easy to find, not so much anymore, because it's not used for plumbing. Or it, they don't even use lead weight for wheel weights in cars, I don't think, anymore. No, they're stick-on steel, aren't you? So we used to collect lead, and <laughs> we would melt it down in a pot over a blowtorch. What did we know about fumes? Right? And then the very first weights I made on my dad, he had a beautiful big workbench made of wood, thick wood. And I actually made little pieces of wood, nailed them to the workbench, and poured the lead in. Pull away the, I had my, own, my dad was not pleased when he found the scorch marks all around. Anyway, they looked a little bit like this. They're just lead, lead metal, heavy. This is a three pound weight, which is a pretty standard size. And this particular one goes onto a belt. Belt weight, like that. That's what it's called, a belt weight. And they're great. They still work. Now, if you're you still using these, that's great. I, you know, I, I, I love it. Uh, uh, I think that's wonderful. Lots of people do. Uh, I don't know if the environment and the fish are real happy with you. But uh, technically, uh, you know, to, to me anyway, uh, the, uh, the likelihood of damage to the environment from a solid uh, a scuba diver's lead weight is pretty minimal. And not so much from lead shot and other ways that lead get in the water. But anyway, there's your good old standard lead weight that's been around forever, okay? So what, what happened next? Well, what happened next was they decided, pardon me, they decided to coat it, to coat it. And there's different types of coatings. They tried paint, didn't last. So now they have a plastic coat and they dip the lead weights into a plastic, hard, hard plastic uh, uh, material. And it comes out and it's coated like this. And the, the object is uh, twofold. One is to to make certain that there's no uh, uh, harmful effects from having lead in the water. That, that would be upsetting if scuba divers discovered that the lead weights you were using were harming the environment, they'd be upset. Because seriously, uh, scuba divers are very usually very environmentally conscious. We're the ones that see what's going on down there and the harm that's been caused by man over the years. We don't want to be a part of that harm. So that was the one reason. The other reason is they look really nice. Not this one. This is black, but uh, you can get them in red or blue, or Kevin has pink uh, lead weights, and, and they're really quite attractive. So they're better for the environment, and uh, they're colorful too. And then somebody decided, you know, this belt going through, every time the belt goes through, it uses up two inches of belt, you know? So that, you know, the standard, you may not know this, maybe you have a, a waist like mine, 30, 32 inches or so, you need a 52-inch weight belt if you're going to be using belt weights because every time it goes through a weight, it uses up two inches. That's the standard length of a weight belt. Believe it or not, 52 inches. You can cut some off if you're really, really small. Just be careful. Don't cut off too much. Uh, Kevin's weight belt is 73 inches long. <clears throat> Anyway, <laughs> he puts it around his neck. Anyway, um, so what they did to try to cut down on the amount of webbing, belt webbing needed, somebody came up with this idea. Uh, and guess what it's called? This is called a bullet weight. Eh, it doesn't really look a lot like a bullet, but I guess it looks more like a bullet than one of the other weights, and it's called a bullet weight. And it's very simple mold, round mold, has a single slot through the middle. So now you see the belt just passes right through. There's no twisting and turning. So it's very easy to put more of these on your belt if needed and uh, to uh, use a, a smaller and shorter weight belt as well. Now these do, one thing you've probably found out if you use these, these do have a tendency to slip on the belt because there's no twisting. But there are very simple little belt sliders that you can put on to hold these in place. So that's a bullet weight and then of course you can get bullet weights. You can get them in different sizes. That was a two pound. This is a three pound bullet. It's still a bullet weight. See the shape? It's still a bullet weight. It's just it's two of them. So now I have three or four pound. I'm not sure which is this now. I think it's a three pound. But the same slot through the middle, but coated. So there's your evolution. Now, the most, the most recent change in lead weights has come about from the practice of putting your lead weights 
into your buoyancy compensator device, your BCD or BC, whatever you decide to call it. The buoyancy compensating device has evolved a great deal as well over the years. From a very simple over the neck CO2 inflator type of thing, uh, we call it a May West, M A E W E S T. From those very simple ones, it's developed into a device now that does a lot. It also will hold your weights. That's right. Most BC systems today, new BC systems today, uh, have the capacity to hold the weights. So they'll have pockets, usually around the waist area. Sometimes they have auxiliary pockets at the back. And in those pockets, you place your lead weights. But the best way to use in the BCD, although they have used bullet weights, and they do use sometimes a squarish standard lead weights, the best weights to use in the BCD are these ones. Look at this. It's a little sack. And this little sack is full of shot. Yeah, lead shot, like shotgun shot. See that? So it's soft. It's flexible. You can drop it into your pocket, the BCD, two or three of these. It molds to your hip, molds to your shape, and it's very, very comfortable. So there you go. From the old hunk of lead, like we poured on my dad's workbench, so I had enough lead weight on me to get down to the very latest uh, little shot pouches. That's the evolution of weight belts. I thought you might want to, somebody was asking the other day about different types of weight belts. I thought I'd share that with you. There's a bit of information. Hope you enjoyed that. There's something in there for you. And we'll talk to you soon. Alec Pierce, Tech Tips from Aquarius Scuba in Toronto. Talk soon.